Hi, my name is Dan Abel Jr., Chief Chocolate Officer at Bissinger's. Bissinger's actually started in Paris, France in the 1600s. In 1668, Bissinger's was appointed the Confesseur Imperial, which means, in English, confectioner to the empire by King Louis XIV. And then in the mid-1800s, they actually moved the company to the United States. They settled in Cincinnati at first, and then in 1927, moved to St. Louis, Missouri. The Bissinger's customer base, you know, we go about 100 years in St. Louis, and there's some products that actually started from the 1899 recipe book that started in St. Louis. And so the core customer really knows us, and they, they really love and respect the brand. It's really important for us to get it right locally, where we have the most brand presence, before then we go push it out on a national scale. Deerberg's is one of those grocery store chains that I grew up going to. I take my family there. We have a, a Deerberg's very close to us that we can walk up to. So for myself to go up with my kids and for them to see the Bissinger's product, so awesome. The fact that we're partnering with such a great local brand is really important for us. I grew up in a family business and so my parents started our company and for sure they have instilled this discipline. And so even today as we came into Bissinger's, there was a lot of employees that came over that had been with the company for 10, 15, 20 years and working with that team, finding that there's another group of awesome candy makers in St. Louis and the fact that we all got to combine and work together is awesome. Great question. So the Bissinger's team, we've got kind of all walks of life. Um, we have some people that just started and then we have some people that have been here over 20 years and you know, can tell you every customer that calls. And you know, that, that institutional knowledge with the Bissinger staff is, is so much fun. For example, like the Bear Claws and just seeing how we teach the next generation hand striping. That's something that you'll probably never ever see at another candy factory. That level of detail that goes into making the Bissinger's candy is so important to us. And so we try to make sure that we're teaching that from generation to generation. We have this family dynamic, you know, my sister handles payroll and my brother is down on the production floor working with our head candy makers. A lot of times it allows me to focus on the two things I love the most and that's the marketing side of it and that's product development. Product development, it always takes a village. In my dad's day, the tradition of product consistency was so important and the generations changed. The next new thing is what people are looking for. They still want the basics, but that is what I think is so fun about this business. Whether it's working on a project where we do like a collaboration, um, we have a collaboration with Companion Baking Company right now where we have a chocolate gooey butter cake and it's our chocolate and their gooey butter cake and they sell it in their cafe and we sell it on our website. We work with um, a local coffee roaster called these for a project, but then we also like to get involved with local events, local charities. We've got Glennon Days coming up. Just being here a lot of times and, and walking through the retail store and seeing hundreds of people that come in every day is, is a great way to engage with St. Louis. It's kind of three things. Number one is the ingredients that we use, we literally use the entire planet as our marketplace. And so our sugar comes from Belize, for example. The, the vanilla is from Madagascar. The chocolate is produced in Europe. The nuts, the hazelnuts are over from Italy. The pecans are from Georgia or Texas. And so some items come from the United States. Some items come from all over the world. We get a lot of candied fruits and a lot of ingredients still out of Europe. A lot of things we purchase in euros, which is really cool how it connects to the historical nature of this brand. So really sourcing the finest ingredients is number one. The recipes themselves, uh, the majority of the recipes that we use are come from the 1899 Bissinger's recipe book. And I've only seen it three times. When we bought the company, we all took a look at it, we all got to touch it, and we all locked it up in a bank safe, <laughs> safety deposit box. But that recipe book really is the foundation for almost every confection. And then the third thing, which is so important to me, is the handcrafted nature. We still use equipment from the turn of the century. And as you see in the production facility, we hand cut the pieces and then hand feed them onto the line and hand stripe and decorate each one. And that really does two things. The first thing it does is, you know, it makes the product prettier. But every time we have hand work on the product, it actually puts another set of eyes on for quality. So if something doesn't look right, they can flag it or change it or reject it so it doesn't actually go into our assortments. 
You know, just getting more brand awareness into the Bissinger's product. We have obviously a very strong presence. The Bissinger's Plaza Frontenac location has been there for over 50 years. So we have this area around where our retail stores are really strong, but Deerbergs has allowed us to really grow throughout the entire St. Louis community. Most consumers ask me all the time, like, I saw you in Deerbergs, how often are you guys out there? I said, well, we're delivering fresh every week. So that product is as fresh as you'll find in our retail stores.